We've officially hit the middle of summer, by the way, AKA road trip season. Before you get in the car, our next guest says there are a few steps you need to take to ensure the long ride goes smoothly. Organization expert Megan Arthurs is here this morning with her top tips for organizing your car while on the road. Good morning to you. Good morning, Kelsey. So I feel like you'd be horrified if you saw my vehicle <laughs> right now. Um, so we're not gonna show you my car. Okay. We're gonna show you a nicely organized vehicle. To start, you say we need to map out the car yes. so you can organize everything we need for the trip. You got it. So first, we wanna make sure that we're starting with a blank canvas. So having your vehicle clutter-free is always a really good way to start. And then you wanna categorize the items that you're packing based on nature, size, and frequency of use. So that means we're packing like with like together. So all of your clothing together, all of the toiletries together, food and beverage together. And then when it comes to actually physically packing the car, you wanna start with the heaviest and bulkiest items in the trunk first, and then light and small items on top, making sure that any items you need during the duration of travel are not at the base of the trunk, like a good snack. Oh my gosh, so speaking of snacks, I feel like this is essential for a good road trip, especially if you uh, have a family. Mm -hmm. So what do you say is the best way to store these? Okay, so snacks, the key is accessibility. No one likes traveling with hangry humans, yeah. right? <laughs> so having an insulated bag that hooks onto the back of the passenger <gasps> driver's seat is a really great option. And when it comes to snacks, you want to choose items that are easy to eat, that are already pre-packaged. Even consider transferring your own snacks into clear containment is a really good idea. So I love the clear containment because you can easily identify what's inside. You're keeping food fresh. You're avoiding spills and also portion control. So if you do have kids in the back, you don't want to just throw them a big bag of pretzels, right? We know no, what no. the end result will be. So uh -huh. pre-portioning is definitely ideal. Megan, I love this. It almost looks like a shower caddy, but it's got that cooler yes. in it. Yes. That's insulated. Good idea. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we also need an emergency kit in a vehicle, but you suggest having two different ones. Yes. What would be in each? Okay, so two emergency kits. The first one is an emergency for the vehicle itself. So we have jumper cables, uh, batteries, flashlight is super important, cable ties, a poncho, maybe it's storming and raining out, we have to pull over, ah. gloves, a, a flashlight, and a blanket as well. And I like keeping this in the trunk of the vehicle. Now the second emergency kit is an emergency for the humans in the vehicle, right? Because those emergencies happen too. So first aid items, wet wipes, a water bottle, band-aids, Advil, maybe an emergency contact list. And I like storing this underneath the passenger seat. You want it to be really close to the driver or the passenger. Honestly, this is a good idea even just all the time. We were mm -hmm. driving last night and foolishly eating ice cream in the car and my son's, the bottom of the ice cream cone fell out and I had nothing. Nothing. We uh -oh. had his pants. That's what we had. <laughs> so like that would have been essential. Yes. Um, speaking of pants, bags and clothing can get really, really bulky. So what is your tip for keeping this organized? Yes. Yeah, so the way you pack your clothing is really meaningful, right? So try storing smaller items inside large. So socks inside sneakers, even undergarments, tank tops inside pockets of jeans. If you can roll your clothing without it wrinkling, rolling is a great idea. So denim rolls really well. We also know shorts leggings can roll really well. And then I like making little outfit packs. So I like taking a sweater and putting a, a pair of pants and a t-shirt inside and packaging up like a little bundle. And that avoids me from over packing. Amazing. Megan, thank you so much for coming in. Canada, happy road tripping. Great tips this morning. Thanks so much for having me. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.